How's it going, everybody? It's Aeromine, back with another episode of Baka Delicious. Uh, today, I'm tackling a dessert I've actually been wanting to make for the longest time, and I don't think I've ever actually made my own rendition of a carrot cake, let alone go on a quest to make just the best damn carrot cake in the world. And I'm gonna do that by adding a few sort of twists instead of applesauce and you know that oil component, I'm gonna do some pureed beets. I think it's gonna add like a nice earthiness and a lot of color to the batter. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, chop up some beets fresh and you know what I mean? Uh, let them simmer in some water and then sort of mash them up and blend them and have that be a base for our cake Mix that with the egg and the sugar and then I'm also gonna add a little just a little bit of cocoa powder And I think that's gonna pair very nicely with the beets I think it's gonna pair nicely with these sort of darker carrots that I got and Hopefully things come together pretty well in the end. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the ingredients here what I'm working with I have some nice multicolored carrots. I am really excited to try the multicolored carrots in a carrot cake. I don't know why, it just seems totally fucking cool. We got our beets, uh, probably won't be needing all three of them, probably will only be using two, but we're just gonna peel these, get them under some water and get them boiling. Uh, some walnuts that I'm actually gonna crush up in a bag uh, with a rolling pin, roll them over. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not explaining it too well. Y'all y'all did it, grandmas, moms everywhere. Put, put some nuts in a bag, crush it up. Throw it in your cookies, do whatever you're doing with the nuts, you know what I mean? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some homemade walnut flour to go in the actual carrot cake base along with our flour and cocoa powder. We got some brown sugar. We're gonna be throwing some unsweetened coconut in there uh, as well as some pineapple chunks. Y'all don't even know what the fuck you're looking at there, do ya? Let me tell you what you're looking at there. That's date nectar. I don't even really know what it is, but it said it has 25% less sugar than honey. And you know what I mean? We're all about being healthy, especially in a carrot cake where we're using beets in it. Without further ado, I'm Aaron, and we're making some carrot cake. First things first, we gotta peel our beets. We gotta peel our beets because they're gonna be the longest thing, and they're actually like the first process in this cake because I'm like mixing the eggs with it. So they gotta get done now. Be aware that this is gonna stain a lot. So if you're wearing nice, tidy, fresh clothes that Becca got for you, take a couple steps back, keep the beats away from your shirt, and peel with care. Oh my god, don't get that on the wood surface. Look at your hands. Listen, we can beat you. Stop casting judgment on the beats. It's fine. All right, so the plan here is drop some beats on the ground instantly. Don't even worry about it. Pick them up off the floor, throw them away, because I don't know if dogs can have beads. Rinse off your hands. It's hard, you know what I mean? I'm working with limited space. I tried to have everything out on display measured out. It's hard. It's hard being a professional, guys. It really is. But I, I'm trying to do it for you. I know it's worth it for you. So we're just gonna go ahead, add some liquid to cover these, cook them until they're tender, until I can mash them up and until I can sort of get them into a nice consistency puree. They don't even really need to be like cut up well because God knows your boy is far from that. Your poor cutting board. We'll soak him. I don't know if that's gonna do it. What about, right. my, what about my hands? Gone. They're gone? You need new ones. Oh, they're red. It looks like we got out of the beat massacre pretty freely. Uh, we don't really need the cutting board. For the carrots, we kind of do, but we'll just cut off the tops of the carrots. That's all I'm really even worried about. More room coming back. Plenty of carrots. Beets, kind of see them, kind of see them. All right, gonna fill them, cover them with some water and a little bit of sugar. And just get those on high heat boiling out. And hopefully, it won't take too long until I'm able to mash these beets and start mixing them with the eggs and date nectar, as well as the vanilla and the pineapple juice, just to get like a dispersed even sweetness throughout the cake. While I'm waiting for the beets to boil, I can start peeling my carrots.
You'd think that the beets would be fucking cooked, but the beets ain't cooked, nigga. I'm sitting here with carrots ready to go, sitting here with, with, with measured out, measured, 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 measured out ingredients, and I'm waiting on beets? How you gonna tell me I'm waiting on beets? All right, so what we can do, we can crack some eggs. We got three eggs, one, two, three. Usually, you would mix uh, the eggs with like some oil, uh, like a cup of vegetable oil or a cup of applesauce or something similar to it. But we are waiting on the beet puree, which is, you you know damn well where the beet puree is in the situation of that. So, uh, we can go ahead and add our date and, what I put in here? Pineapple juice. Go ahead, throw that in there. As well as our brown sugar. Because we're just going to go ahead and cream all this up together. Already smells amazing. Go ahead, a little bit of vanilla. What we can actually do now, while we're waiting for all that shit, is we can do our walnut flour. Gonna go ahead, get a Ziploc bag, throw like, bro, just a handful. Dip, reach your big ass hand in the in, in the tiny ass bag and get some get some nuts out of there. Like however many you feel like. I know it's apocalypse times, so we got a ration. So like however many nuts you think you're gonna pour, to take out of that bag, you take out of that bag, you put in your cake. Congratulations Boiling. on your big ass hands. Congrats on your big ass baby. Congrats on your baby boy. You ready, Mar? Congrats on your big ass baby. <laughs> He's mashing it. Bro, why is there so much liquid in these? He's mashing it. Mash him! Yep, super fine walnut ground up. Uh, ground up walnut. A ground part ground of me. Up. Well, I guess that's enough. But I can add some crunched up in there. The beets are like done. They have to be done. I'm calling the beets done. <laughs> the beets are done. Because I said so. Because they've been on the stove top for fucking like 20 minutes. Got our done beets. 100% done beets. Ah. Hear that beets? You're done. Yeah, they are. They're done. I'm, br it. I'm bringing out the blender. Fuck it. We don't do this often. But we're using equipment. All right, everybody. Oh, thank you. Use the, Dual same, wielding. the same angle. It's okay. I love you. Okay. It's not the same angle, you asshole. Slightly different angles. <laughs> We're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil in with the beets. Because it, there has to be called for vegetable oil anyways. So I don't think a little bit will hurt. And it just needs to be some liquid to like blend the beets up. It's not very recommended to blend hot shit just because it'll go flying, but. Explosion. I don't know, man. I can't, I don't know what you want from me. Like I'm filming a video. It's late. I want a carrot cake. What's going on, man? We need a food processor. There's some more liquid in there. More veggie oil. It's doing it now. Yeah, with more liquid, it's yeah. better. All right, go ahead, brush down the side. Eh. We'll run it one more time, just to smooth it out. Get <laughs> It looks like a murder scene. She's eating it. I think it's probably fine. I can strain that. <laughs> oh, kitchen. Shut up. I love you. I love you too. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dead. God damn it. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> oh. Give me a hug. Yeah. Is it still recording? Yeah. It's okay. I still believe in you. All right, guys. Let me let you in on what just happened. For some reason, a part of me forgot that you need to put the top on the blender to use the blender. They got all over all the dishes, all over all the walls. You can see it on the curtain. You can see it on the ceiling. Got everywhere. All right. All over my face. Luckily, not on my Teddy Fresh. But that's all the beat we were able to get. We have another beat. It's late. I'm not willing to fuck with it, honestly. Moving on. Now that we finally got our beet mixture, our eggs, our date, 
all of it done, we are ready to add the flour. We're gonna add a little bit of flour bit by bit, sifting it in just to make sure it's smooth as possible, as well as our cocoa powder. Now the cocoa powder is gonna be a very interesting choice here. Uh, you usually don't add a cocoa powder to a carrot cake. Uh, carrot cake's usually just, you know, it's nut flavored carrot, you know what I mean? Pineapple juice, sweet, not cocoa. But because of the beat, because of the date, I think that cocoa was a nice sort of middle ground. And I even thought about possibly throwing some coffee in there, but I felt like it would stretch too far and like diverge a little bit too much from the original intent. So we ain't do it. So we're just gonna go ahead, sift in our flour, baking powder, salt, baking soda. Go ahead and give that a nice even mix. And after this, we're gonna go ahead and add our carrot, our shredded carrot, about three cups worth, and then our walnut flour. Got a nice batter. It almost just looks like chocolate cake because of the beet. The beet already made it that like sort of purple and then the cocoa powder just sends it over the top. Even though there's not really that much cocoa powder in it. So we're gonna add all of our carrots. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Reserve some carrot if you think you added too much carrot because I didn't measure. Our spices that we also forgot to add. And our walnut flour, boys. It's all, it's all goes to the same place, Becca. It all goes to the same place. You were supposed to add cinnamon and nutmeg when you had the flour and shit in there. I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't getting sag veneer flashbacks. It's, it, it's not going too great. It's not going too awful, but it's definitely not going too great. It's fine though. It's fine. We're mixing our carrot cake. Uh, a lot of, a lot of shredded coconut in there, cause shredded coconut delicious in the carrot cake. Some more crushed up. Walnuts in there. And the last thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this pineapple and I'm gonna give it a rough chop and throw that in as well. I fuck with pineapple. Let me tell you what I fuck with more though. I really, I really fuck with golden raisins. If you got golden raisins, you put that shit in your carrot cake, not no damn pineapple. Got some pineapple, make sure you throw it in, in your carrot cake, not outside of it, don't miss. And I think we're good, bro. Mix this shit up. Give your carrot cake a nice mix. Hell yeah, baby. All right. And that's what we call carrot cake, boys. And uh, I kind of want to end it, but I'm not going to end it because the carrot cake not even out of the oven. And that's how defeated this project has me at this stage. But it's all looking easy for me. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, oil up our pans, make sure that we put some flour on them so the cakes come out okay pop them in the oven, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the icing. All right, everybody. The cakes are going in the tin. It's final countdown moment, so don't you dare look over here because this is a mess, and this proves how hard we work to get where we are. Mmm, chunky. Mmm. <laughs> you like me chunky. Very thick cake batter, don't know, uh, is there like baking powder in there? There's baking powder and baking soda. Okay, okay. I was like, is this even gonna rise? I don't know. You don't normally bake, but. Thank you. I, I, you know, I'm not usually believed in, I feel. I feel like I'm usually underestimated. Sticky date carrot cake. Sticky date carrot cake. Put that shit in there. All right. Quest to make the best carrot cake in the world, take one. <laughs> Only take. Oh, we need to turn off Bon Appetit. It has been only about 40 minutes, but it feels like it's been two hours. We have the uh, the cakes out of the oven. You can see how they turned out. They actually didn't turn out too bad. They're still warm. I'm tired. So we're gonna mess with them while they're what, warm. What is that? Pineapple, please. <laughs> uh, I haven't tasted it yet, so we're just gonna try and flip it out. I went with my knife around the edge. Uh, this is live, so anything could happen. I could fuck it up. Where are you flipping it to? Uh, just right on, right there. Oh, okay. Is that okay. <laughs> where that's at the point we're at. That, <laughs> in the wait, video, it's where fine, else should I fine. do it? Like on a plate. Look what you made me do. Is this okay? Yeah, it's fine. And then we're gonna make some frosting with some cream cheese, some butter. Cream cheese. Some cream cheese. Some creamed jeans. All right, boys. La di da. Oh my God. This video. 
I didn't think you would do that I anyway. I, I would have tried to stop you from doing that. I didn't think it would be a problem. I didn't think I slammed it that hard. Oh, you did. Okay, we'll try this one. This one will be, it feels good. It, it feels like Okay, like... We, broke a, we broke a thing. On the plus side, cake looks great. Next, okay. Yeah, you went. Smack. I didn't expect it to come out that easy. <laughs> I came out like and he split. I didn't need to fucking do anything. Okay, things look pretty good. We'll probably cut off this, like take a serrated knife, cut off the top, you mm -hmm. think? Okay, so I'm gonna make the frosting uh, after I take care of the carrot cake. So we're just gonna go ahead, nice, even sort of layer, hopefully across the top. Not bad, it needs frosting. It does need frosting. <sighs> okay. It's okay, it's okay. The worst day ever. We made a cake that ruined my life. Okay, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're making a frosting. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just on the fly making a frosting because we're wrapping the video up and things can't get any worse. I'm like nervous now, like it could get worse. It can't get worse. It's Literally bad. title the video, don't make this carrot cake, please. Don't even try making don't. this carrot cake. Please don't make this carrot right, cake. We're using a spoon. I'm begging you. Okay, Becca is mixing the the mix. I won't film her, but you can kind of see, maybe if I do a little spin, you can kind of see her. Just cause, uh, you know, there it go, there it go. Here's the cake, she's mashing it. I'm mashing she's it. mashing it. And you will never know, but you can't. <laughs> we're telling you oh, now. I, 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 look at the kitchen. And don't I'm telling you, this. don't make this carrot cake. Give it there. That's pleasing somebody. I don't know who. Me. That's pleasing another another somebody. I'll do my best frosting a cake. Becca oh will have an God. aneurysm. <laughs> I'm gonna freak. Just this is just a middle layer, so you want it evenly thick. Mm. Not. <laughs> it's broken, but we don't. You don't need to touch it <laughs> and let all the viewers know. You don't need to let. I need to know I didn't. If I didn't mention it frosting. for a reason. Listen, I still advocate. <laughs> for the beet test. It could also be the walnuts that I threw in here, like the ground walnuts. Oh, the flour? Acted a little too bit differently. Too much flour. Yeah, too much flour. Wait, quick, quick, quick. And then you gotta do like a little outro. You're gonna to fucking toast them? Yeah. All right, everybody. Here, shoot my face. All right, everybody. We're doing an outro and finishing up the carrot cake at the same time because we got five to 10 on the batter. All right, so what we're doing, we're toasting up the coconut. It's gonna go on the top of the cake. We're gonna go ahead, get a knife to slice and taste test. And we're gonna go eat the shit out of this. What's our battery, what's our battery? Five. Five? Oh shit, I don't need to rush it off. So guys, uh, we're just making a little bit of a topping for our carrot cake here. The worst of the worst has happened. GoPro died. GoPro died. And after the blender explosion, me breaking the dish, and the GoPro dying, I'm ready to die myself. I told you Becca, first. Becca has helped me. The last thing we need to do is take that coconut, Becca. You you deserve finished judges. Put it on top. Okay. Take that coconut. Well, it's hot, so be careful. You can just fuck it. In. Just fuck it. I don't even care, dude. Just yeah, 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 just sprinkle that shit. Yeah, just sprinkle that shit. Just sprinkle that shit on top. Oh yeah, baby. I heard you like coconut cake. Mmm, we'll eat, we'll eat that side. It's got a face that only a mother can love, but... It's got a face that won't quit. All right, everybody. It's cute. We made a fucking coconut cake. And it's whether you cute. like it or not, I like it. We did it. We did it. And we take a big old bite of our big old coconut cake. <laughs> big ass baby. Big ass baby bite. Real man bite. The review is, is it a little dense? Is it a little dense? Is that because of the beets? It's Who knows? Of the beets. Maybe if the beet fiasco didn't even happen and I had more beet beer in there, it would have been a little bit better. I had every roadblock in my palate this entire time, and I still came out to a decent product. So if you do it and you don't break off your spatula tip, like I do. In the puree. In the Explode the puree on the ceiling and break it and 
almost burn the coconut. <laughs> but I think that it's... Is that, you could do it. Maybe do it. I wouldn't again. Maybe I will though. But you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't think I need to because it's pretty tasty. So I wouldn't again. But if you want to make this coconut cake, you by all means make this, co this uh, coconut carrot cake. I love you. I'm going to go to sleep. And... Thank you.